Hey, everyone. Welcome back and happy Thursday. Okay, guys. So lots to talk about, lots to discuss. Now, Lala Kent is going in on Ariana, which this is some shit. It's very uncomfortable. Like as if I feel like I'm almost a part of the cast, but I'm not a part of the cast. But I'm sitting here. I wish I got paid like the cast, but I'm not a part of the cast. And I'm sitting here trying to dissect this with what I know, who I know, and how I know, plus what's being said. And I'm trying to find the truth somewhere in between. So there is a lot to discuss, lots to, uh, to uncover, but we're going to be playing videos for you. So before we jump in, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And let's jump right in. Okay, guys, so everyone's always asking me about my favorite skincare. Of course, you guys know as far as products, I use number seven. However, as far as tools, I use Blue Mean. So with the click of a button, it has this little light. You gently, it feels like a massage, rub it up and down your face, and it uses little microcurrents to lift rejuvenate, illuminate, take out the inflammation, do everything that you need, which I love. Mm, I love my blooming. So normally she's about $150, but if you click on the link that is posted in the description, but also pinned in the comment section, you get $70 off. And the best part is, is if you don't absolutely love it, you get 100% of your money back. But with that, let's dive into the Lala of it all, please. Now, thank you to Reality Blurb. Lisa Vanderpump addressed the falling out Ariana and Lala had at the taping of the Vanderpump Rules Season 11 reunion that was last month during an interview earlier this week. Before looking back on the emotionally draining taping during a separate interview, Lisa appeared on a podcast where she admitted that, well, this did go down between Ariana and Lala, and it was complicated, but she also revealed if she thinks that they'll reconcile and explained her support for Tom. It was very complicated. I wouldn't say Ariana eviscerated Lala. Now, as Vanderpump Rules fans may have seen, the Bravo Babe on X, formerly known as Twitter, suggested that Ariana eviscerated Lala at the end of the reunion and claimed it was a friendship over type of situation. However, days later, while appearing on the talk, Lala said only one of those things is true, and I'll let y'all decide. Although Lisa confirmed that there was an encounter between Ariana and Lala, she said that Lala was not verbally debilitated in any way. I don't think Lala ever wastes time letting anybody know what she feels, which is why we kind of like her. I've always been a big proponent of supporting Lala, and I think that she has been a great addition to the show. Now, as for their future, Lisa does not believe Ariana and Lala's feud will last. Have you seen how these dynamics change? They change quicker than most people change their underwear. You just think, I've got this now. That's never going to happen. All You know, like a lion's in the sand, and then they jump over it. This group is very outspoken, but also pretty forgiving if you think about what we've been through. Now, Lisa also looked back on her and Lala's decision to extend grace to Sandoval after his affair with Rachel, especially after learning he was facing life-taking thoughts. When we jumped into that, there were there was a lot of heightened feelings. It was very difficult for me, and I talked very honestly about the whole suicide of my brother. I talked about how I've been involved in the prevention of it, and then my brother committed it, and then... Tom actually saying he had the the thoughts of it because he felt the whole world was against him, which it was. But Lisa also discussed Sandoval's depression with extra TV. She said, I was very sensitive to that. That was a very serious subject to me. I became very worried about that. You know, it's like one of the biggest causes of death in young men in Britain, especially. So yeah, I was very aware of that. But looking back at Sandoval's affair, Lisa acknowledged that everyone makes mistakes. She said, we talked about that. I said at the reunion previously, look, he didn't kill anybody. Everyone needs to back off. But isn't forgiveness a part of moving forward? It really is. And I don't expect everyone to be perfect. It's like we screw up. That's what we do. While Ariana was left devastated by Sandoval's cheating, Lisa said it was amazing to see her make a comeback before noting that there's still a lot of animosity between her and Sandoval. But as for the reunion, Lisa told Extra TV that it was a bit different than usual. It wasn't chaotic, but it was definitely emotionally draining. It still is. And although there is some cohesion in the group, everybody still has a lot of feelings and the way everybody dealt with it. Mm. Okay. 
Well, moving on, it doesn't stop there. Lala is also slamming Ariana for letting Tom yell at Vanderpump Rules co-stars for years without coming to their defense, but expecting the cast to come to hers. Now, throughout the current season, Lala has questioned some of Ariana's controversial decisions, and in the latest episode, she accused Tom of attempting to kill her dog. After he defended herself, well, he defended himself in the group, she rebuked her castmates for refusing to support her. We're talking about a man, Tom Sandoval, who season nine was screaming or whatever season we brought on these random people, season eight, losing his goddamn mind on everybody. And Ariana sitting across from me saying, the thing I love about him, that's why I love what I love about Tom Sandoval, that he yells at women. Who has never come to anyone's defense? Asking... That's what Lala said, alluding to when Tom was unkind to her and Katie Maloney in the past. Ariana Maddox, not once. She falls back, lets it happen. And now suddenly, because you're on the receiving end of the misogynistic ways, you're looking for backup. There's only one way to look at it. I went on to the season, and when things didn't make sense, I asked questions and was essentially looked at like someone who doesn't support women anymore, someone who's jealous. Many fans are rooting for Ariana, but they are confused by her demands on the friend group. Though some viewers are happy to see Tom get eviscerated over and over, others are growing tired of the storyline. And speaking of said storyline, I'm going to play exactly what she just said for you. Here we go. It's always some shit. Thank you to Breaking the Rules. Talking about a man, Tom Sandoval, who season nine ha ha was screaming or season whatever season we brought on these random people, season eight. Losing his goddamn mind on everybody. And Ariana sitting across from me saying, the thing I love about, that's what I love about Tom Sandoval. And I said that he, he yells at women. Wait, goes, when, no, wait, he, when was he, what women was he yelling he at? He has consistently been unkind to me. He's okay. consistently been unkind yeah, I've to Katie. Okay. And who has never come to anyone's defense? Ariana Maddox. Not once. She falls back. Let's it happen. And now suddenly, because you're on the receiving end of his misogynistic ways, you're looking for backup. I, again, there's I mean, only one I, way to look at it. No, I went on to this season and when things didn't make sense, I asked questions and was essentially looked at like someone who doesn't support women anymore. Someone who's jealous. Well, I, but we're talking about a man, Tom Sandoval, who season nine. Ha, ha, was screaming or season whatever season we brought on these random people. See the only people that are trying to rewrite history are the fans. Mm -hmm. yeah. Literally, the only people that are rewriting history right now are fans. What do you mean by but that? They, but you, the Meaning cast is who said that. Say, though, but the cast said he's doing too much now. Well, All by the way, I have a feeling that. about my cast too. I feel like yeah. I'm... After the reunion, I look at them very differently. I very much do. But I can't talk about that right. yet. Right, mm -hmm. you can't talk about that. But, but this is who he's always been. He's mm -hmm. always been the guy paying for, true, true. for people's engagement parties. He's been the guy to chase down the man for the ranch. He's <laughs> doing the same shit he's always done. It's just now he's fucked you over, so it's annoying to you. Right. The finale is where fourth wall is broken and I lose my goddamn mind. <laughs> and I think there's going to be a shift with my cast. I actually know there is because I've already lived it. And there's going to be a huge shift, I think, with the audience. And I will be staying off of socials and telling my team I don't want to know shit because I lose my goddamn mind. It's so interesting to me because the only, the only people that are trying to rewrite history Okay, I got it. So, guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. Pop off in the comment section. Smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I don't know why I have so much energy. But I'm on the fucking do. So, also, don't forget to check out Blue Mean with the click of a button. Whether it's in the description or pinned in the comment section, you will not regret it. Cheeky.